Deja vu for the stock market following another bumper US jobs report of plus 211k that beat the academic economist average expectations of 180k that follows hot on the heels of the November US jobs positive surprise that once more prompted the consensus to quickly conclude that a Fed December US interest rate high was a near certainty and likely to result in strongly negative consequences for stocks. However, this is the same consensus that has been blindly betting against the stock market rally for at least the past three months. So, it should not come as much surprise that another good jobs report is being perceived as more bad news of impending doom that the Fed December interest rate hike will herald for stocks and bonds. If you want to know a good reason why the stocks bull market continues to grind the bears into dust, then one only needs to look at the US unemployment chart, which over the past two years has relentlessly trended lower from 7% to 5%. With the Dow at 17,847, less than 3% from its all time high of 18,351 it can be easy to forget just how bearish the consensus has been and not just the usual perma bear crowd but for many months the widespread expectations have been that stocks were now in a bear market with the prominent analysts even proclaiming that there was a 99.7% chance of a bear market so apparently the so-called 99.7% chance bear market has managed to rally to within 2.5% of its all-time high, up from the August 2015 low of 15,370 that triggered the bear market mantra, becoming most vocal when stocks were at their most cheapest, painting a bleak picture for future stock market prospects in a case of rearview mirror syndrome. My update of mid-September on the state of the over six year long stocks bull market series concluded in a detailed trend forecast for the Dow to briefly rally during September before continuing its correction into October and before setting the scene for the Dow to rally by 20% targeting a range of 18,000 to 18,100 before the end of this year. My update of 4th November confirmed expectations for a bull run to above 18,000 with probability even favouring a new Dow all-time high before the end of December. Whilst my most recent update of a month ago that followed the November US jobs report concluded in a trend forecast graph for the Dow to rally into the end of November before entering into a correction into the December FOMC meeting followed by a Santa rally that would attempt to set a new all-time high before the end of this year. The subsequent trend in large part has closely matched the forecast with Friday's 300 point surge showing relative strength which implies an increased probability for a new Dow all-time high i.e. above 18,351 before the end of December. A quick technical take suggests. Firstly, despite stocks remaining near their highs, nevertheless have managed to greatly unwind their overbought state as illustrated by the MACT. Secondly, the strong US jobs news has done much to remove uncertainty of what will happen at the next Fed meeting. Nevertheless, market participants are easily spooked by rumours that tend to over exaggerate expectations of what could happen next. And thirdly, the consensus have had it in their heads for a long time that a Fed interest rate hike will be bearish for stocks. In my opinion and experience, this is just another example of mantra analysis. I.e. the more they say, the more they and others are likely to believe it's going to happen and then witness the exact opposite happening, which is why over 90% lose. It's not their fault, it's evolution. It's Homo sapiens mantra.
So, in my opinion, the Dow is being coiled like a spring, ready for a Santa rally to send stocks soaring into the stratosphere. So, whilst there may be volatility in the run up to the mid December FOMC meeting, however, whatever the Fed decision turns out to be, and the rate hike is the most probable, it's just not going to stop Santa from delivering a new Dow all time high this month. While it's early for my in-depth analysis and detailed trend forecast for the Dow for 2016, however a brief reminder of my long-standing view illustrates that nothing so far has transpired that implies that 2016 will not also turn out to be another bullish year for stocks for the seventh consecutive year. In fact, 2016 could turn out to be far stronger than 2015. So then what for the 99% bear market mantra? Let alone the probability that stocks could continue marching higher for several more years. As I alluded to in my February 2013 Stock Stealth Bull Market 2013 and Beyond ebook that can be downloaded for free from the Market Oracle website. And now over two and a half years on from the then Dow 13992 level Dow 20k during 2017 appears very probable. So what then for the Perma Bear crowd for the whole of 2016 and into 2017? I can tell you what the Perma crowd will do for the whole of 2016. They will cry Fed manipulated markets. Which is what I pointed out right at the start of this bull market in March 2009 as being one of the primary drivers for a multi-year bull market that is now about to complete its seventh year. And finally remember this, the greater the deviation from the bull market peak, then the greater the buying opportunity presented. Now ensure you are subscribed to this YouTube channel for forthcoming analysis and detailed trend forecasts for stocks and housing markets for 2016 and beyond.